Well, hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. I wanted to do a little grocery haul today. I feel like I haven't done a grocery haul in a while, and I used to really like doing these videos, so I'm gonna go over everything that I got today. I always do Walmart pickup um, because I feel like if we go into the store, we always spend so much more money than we would if we do pickup every week, and this way I can plan out all my meals. I know exactly what I need to buy, and I'm not buying like a whole bunch of snacks and all that stuff that we don't need, so I I spent about a hundred dollars this week um, our grocery budget had to go up a little bit more now because we're buying formula but food for just us we usually will spend between like 75 and 85 dollars a week I'm gonna go over everything that I got and then talk about my meal plan for the week so should be a short and sweet little video today so this is just a little overview of everything, but I'll go through everything kind of one by one. So staples every week, we always get eggs. And I've just started buying in bulk because Kyle is eating them for breakfast now. So I just got two of the 18 count. Um, and then Kyle always gets these every week, the Oikos um, 20 grams of protein, little Greek yogurt. Um, they have a bunch of flavors and they're actually really good. Um, Kyle gets Propel every week. I needed some heavy whipping cream for cold foam that I make in the mornings. And I think I have to use this in one of my recipes this week, but I always try to keep this on hand because I'm always baking or making something with it. And I got a bag of apples. I try to get apples every week. I'll eat those as a snack, like with some cheese cubes, um, some crackers, just as like a little snack or a lunch. I got some chicken breast. I usually get frozen chicken, but this week I got just raw chicken because they are out of frozen chicken everywhere in my grocery store. No bags of chicken anywhere. And then I got some cheese cubes. I'll eat these as a snack, usually with some fruit or beef jerky or crackers. And then I got two bags of just regular shredded cheese. And I got some cilantro for a dinner that I'm making this week, two green peppers also for dinner that I'm making. If I have leftovers, I just cut those up and eat them as a snack. Um, asparagus, we've really been liking asparagus as a side with dinner here lately, and James really likes it, so super easy to make. I just roast it in the oven. I got these little potato company, the Blushing Bell Red Potatoes, also super good. I love little red potatoes. We grow those in our garden, but these are a close second to garden potatoes. And I already put these in the basket, but I got a bag of avocados and a bunch of bananas and more fruit. I got some raspberries. James really likes raspberries, so I'll give those to him for breakfast or just as a little side with one of his meals. Some baby carrots I got for a snack, and I can also steam these, and James really likes eat carrots too. Um, little snacks. I love these white cheddar Cheeto puffs. I love anything white cheddar, and these are just a nice little snack when you want something crunchy. Kyle loves baked Lay's, and those have been something that have been kind of scarce here lately, so I picked up two bags of those since they were in stock, and two cans of tuna for dinner this week, and this is a new recipe that I'm making. I'll talk about it when I go over my meal plan, but I got some coconut milk. I got two cans. Um, I think I'll only need one, but just another one to have on hand. These little pouches, um, usually I'll give these to James if I don't really have any ideas for him for dinner or he can't eat what we're eating. Um, just something quick if we're going to somebody's house, um, different things like that. I always like to keep little pouches on hand for him. I got some coconut oil because I need this for a bread recipe and for the recipe that this calls for. Some lime juice because I'm also using this in a recipe for dinner this week. Kyle needed some body wash. And then flour has become a staple for me every single week. So I always buy the King Arthur Unbleached All Purpose and use that for my sourdough or just baking with it in general. And then the last thing I got is a can of formula. But that is all that we got this week for about a hundred ish dollars. So not too bad. So on our menu this week um, for Monday, I guess, or the first meal I have on here is a coconut lime 
chicken and um i used to watch victoria fox all the time um like her og youtube videos where she would do grocery hauls and meal plans and everything and she would always make this coconut lime chicken and it never sounded good to kyle so i never made it but this last week he was like i want like a fiesta lime chicken kind of like from applebee's that they used to have and i was like wait i know a recipe it's coconut lime chicken this girl I used to watch on youtube used to make it all the time so i actually messaged her on instagram last night because i couldn't find like the recipe on pinterest i looked through like a lot of her old videos like in the description to see if she linked it and i couldn't find it so i messaged her like on a whim and she messaged me back and she sent it to me and like kind of ran me through like what she did when she made it so super thankful to her shout out to her i will leave her youtube channel down below um she also has a little girl um that's a little bit older than James. Um, she doesn't post on YouTube much anymore, but she does post on her Instagram a lot. So I'll leave both of her Instagram and her YouTube linked down below. Um, and she also used to be a military spouse. Reeling back in from my tangent. So that I have the coconut lime chicken as one meal this week. And then I have tuna patties, which is a really quick and easy meal. I've said this before, I know it's not for everybody, but we really like them and um, I usually make them not the best. I usually make them with mac and cheese and a veggie like green beans or peas or broccoli. So that is on our menu for the week. And then I have Philly cheesesteaks on the menu. I have had these on our menu for the last three weeks and haven't got to make them because um, usually I'll try to make these for like a Friday meal. Again, something quick and easy. Um, it's just super good. And we've like either went out to eat or Saudi's invited us over um, to have dinner at their house. So Phillies, I am determined to make them this week. And then we have barbecue chicken on the grill. And I think Kyle's gonna make this on the grill. Um, we have chicken legs that we've had in our freezer for a while that we just need to make. So we're gonna do that on the grill one night this week since it's supposed to be nice outside. So excited for that. Hold on, is that two? I think that's only, that's four. Okay, that's four. And our fifth one um, as our Friday night meal, like our heavier meal, we have steaks. And we're going to do steaks and those little red potatoes that I talked about um, on the grill. Or sometimes we do them on the grill. Sometimes we do them in the oven. I'll like microwave them for five minutes, um, get them kind of soft, and then I'll quarter them, put them, um, or like put olive oil on them, garlic, onion, powder, salt, pepper, super good and they get so soft and like buttery mm, love them that way and then i'll probably make that asparagus with those um that night either asparagus or broccoli i guess i didn't say what i was going to make as sides with all these meals so the coconut lime chicken i'll probably serve it over rice with some broccoli and that's what i needed the canned coconut milk for which i've also never used but sounds really good i like coconut kyle's not a huge fan so we'll see um, if he likes this <laughs> recipe or not, but I will leave um, the recipe for that link down below. It is a Pinterest recipe. Um, the tuna patties recipe, I'll try to find something similar to what I use, but for tuna patties, I honestly just do like one or two cans of tuna, depending on how many I'm going to make. Um, like half a sleeve of saltine crackers and one egg, and I'll usually season it with like some garlic and onion just because I put garlic and onion powder literally in everything, salt and pepper, um, and then you literally just mush it all together and make little patties and fry them in the skillet with whatever oil that you choose to make them with. I used to not like tuna or be a big tuna patty person, but those like don't really taste that fishy and don't really smell that fishy when you cook them. Give them a try. Again, a super cheap and easy meal that you can do. Philly cheesesteaks, um, I kind of cheat with those and do the um, Schwanzman Philly beef that's shredded really thin um, or some places even have already like thinly sliced steak that you can buy. Um, I bought it from Walmart. I've also sliced my own steak and that is just kind of a feat in itself. Um, you have to get your steak really cold, almost frozen, and slice it super thin. So take the easy way out, get like pre-shredded steak, so much easier that way. <laughs> um, and then I just cut up green peppers and onions and get like hoagie buns and toast them. Um, super easy, super good. But this was a very long-winded um, meal plan for the week, but that is all that I have for my little meal plan for the week. I try to do at least, five meals and if I need 
anything else throughout the week. Um, it's just kind of a free for all or whatever I find in the pantry to throw together and make as a quick meal that night. But my rule of thumb is always try to have five meal ideas for the week, one for each day of the week. And nine times out of 10, we'll eat out one day a week or we'll have leftovers or like a free for all one day a week. But I just wanted to film this little grocery haul for you guys. I really enjoyed filming them previously and they're just a little video I can be chatty in. Obviously, I really like to talk, so they're really fun for me to do. And I liked going over my meal plan and just being a little bit more chatty with that too. So if you guys like these style of videos, please let me know. I would like to start doing them again. I just kind of always forget about doing them but they're honestly so easy to film and I just I like watching grocery hauls to get like ideas and like different meal ideas different like snacks to buy from all of them so like I said leave me a comment down below if you like these types of videos and you want me to keep doing them and I will also link all the recipes that I talked about well as many as I can down below for you guys as well as my social media so follow me on there if you want more updates I post a lot more on my Instagram than I do on my YouTube obviously um, little recipes over there all my bread stuff just like daily life so if you like that kind of stuff consider following me over there and also consider subscribing if you are not and turning on the post notifications I really try to post every Monday and Friday and I know this is not a bread video like normal on Monday but my bread video is taking a little bit more time than I thought. I'm currently working on it today. It is Sunday and this video will go up Monday because my starter wasn't quite ready to make this recipe that I'm working on today. And I'm not gonna tell you what it is because I don't wanna jinx it just in case it doesn't work out. But that will be going up next Monday. So hopefully I will be back on schedule with bread video Monday, regular video on Friday. But I'm going to stop rambling and go put the rest of my groceries away. So I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys. Bye.